What is up, everybody? It's 6.20 p.m. in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. We're starting to get some really good snow coming down. It's going to be a good update. We're going to go to the snowiest part of town so you guys can see what is happening up there. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is February 5th, 2024. Thank you guys for being with me. Also, as an extra thank you, through the end of the storm, if you guys wanted to buy BigBearWeatherAndMore.com merchandise, if you go to the website and upon checkout, type in the word STORM, S-T-O-R-M, you'll save a bit of money. It's just another way to say thank you guys, and I believe that it's going to expire on Friday or Saturday. So go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com, check it out. Yeah, check this out. We're on Moonridge Road. The snow is really coming down. Oh, it's just spectacular. I love it. I think we're going to be snow from here on out, guys, for the rest of the way until Friday. All right, you guys ready for this? It's going to be pretty sketchy driving up here, but here we go. And then guys, also because I am trying to help you out, save you save you a few bucks and make sure you have the best equipment up here, rent your skis and snowboards at Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. Owner Tony is such a sweetheart. The whole staff is amazing. Um, if you mention me, they will wax your skis and snowboards for free. Never forget that. That's really cool of them to offer that to you guys and they've got everything from rental stuff to new stuff you can purchase all high quality good stuff i would never refer you to to, to any type of a second best type of a place you guys so you guys will be stoked both of their stores are right next to the big bear village on big bear boulevard they have a snowboard shop and then on the next block it's a ski shop all right here we go let's do this Let's do this. Here we are. We are on Villa Grove, and we're about to start to make the really scary climb up to the top. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm still gripping really well right now. I just hate having to drive down these. Now we're on Butte, B-U-T-T-E. And the higher we go, the more snow you're going to see on the ground least in the street as well. We have a live feed going also, uh oh. We have a live feed going you guys also up the, uh, of the storm from my house. So hopefully, if you guys get extra bored, you can check in on the live feed. It is extra, extra slick right now, you guys. Definitely, definitely extra slick. I can't imagine anyone getting up here, to tell you the truth. I don't know how I'm gonna get down if I'm sliding this good going up. I feel bad for anyone who's staying up up here right now because it's this is tough. This is tough. Woo! All right, here we go. We're back at Villa Grove. You guys rarely see me sliding like that, and when I'm sliding like that, it's really bad. Um, I'm worried about this person going down. Really worried about that. Oh, man. I think we're going to cut across Luna and just getting nasty up here. Oh man. I'm 
I'm nervous. Definitely nervous about the going downhill part right now. I just wanted to show you guys Upper Moon Ridge right now real quick and then get out of here. I didn't expect it to be that bad. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause it's really slushy. It's really slushy. It says 33 degrees right now. Now we're on the top of Sheep Horn. know just in case something does happen hey babe I'm in upper moon ridge and the roads are scarier than they've been in years I don't know if I'm gonna make it down okay so just be aware keep an eye on me we're gonna have to take this so slow and I'm okay with that we're already starting the downslope, but there's a really shady, sketchy part coming up. It's a big right turn that's really steep. I'll go as slow as I gotta go. Oh, we aren't there yet. Okay. My heart is pounding right now. See guys, I go through this too, but I put myself in these situations when I don't have to. there's a snow berm on the other side in case I do slide across the street because there's a hill if there's no snow berm you can go right over oh my gosh Nick what did you do to yourself tonight all right just take it easy buddy if we can get around this part this is the first of two difficult sections on this road right here I'm trying not to apply my brakes too hard. Guys, it's that bad. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm not using this for dramatics, nothing like that. My heart is absolutely pounding right now. Yeah, see, so if, it, if you keep on sliding, there's a hill right here. My hand's shaking. Holy moly. I know this is pathetic you guys, but this is what you got to do if you really care about your safety This is what you have got to do Just take it extra slow and I'm worried that I'll slide straight down now and hit that that van right there Please maintain grip please maintain grip Please maintain grip buddy Yeah, that's why we didn't do the rest of Upper Moon Ridge because the other road would have been just as scary to come down. So I just wanted to, to get it over with. <laughs> just to make sure that I would make it. Once we get right where that SUV is, we're good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you guys. And the Airbnb that we do for giveaways and that you guys can rent out is right here. Let me roll down the window so you can see it. a great great location obviously you can see it's in part of the snowier areas and we're right down the street from bear mountain oh my gosh i feel like i just won the lottery that's how good i feel inside for making it down that part right there i know guys it sounds dramatic but if you couldn't tell 
when I was driving up that street called Butte that I was all over the place, go back and check it out. Got a big plow coming through. It's not a big plow, just a regular plow. Holy smokes! That was scary! So we're gonna continue the drive now. Again, this, this isn't gonna be the longest update video. slow down sooner. Okay, at least I'm gripping. Alright, let's do this. Now we can get loose turning. Oh, now my car wants to grip. You've got to be kidding me. When I'm wanting to have fun, it, it, it won't do it. But when I don't want to, like, slide, it does it. Again, it's very rare. You guys will rarely see that happening with me. But that's a testament to what the conditions are like. As I said, look at the temperature, 33 degrees. It's slushy. It's, it's just, it's nasty out here. I'm still tripping, like seriously. Guys, trust me, I know how you feel coming up here sometimes. I, I just felt like it was all over. That was gonna be the, the last video that I made that would never get uploaded. tiny hill right here so we're gonna be going extra extra slow right here coming down around this left bend because this this can be pretty gnarly too it's not super steep but it's steeper than it looks and some more friends of the channel they've they're they're visiting from Arkansas and they wanted to meet me. They're actually staying in one of these big, beautiful houses on the left-hand side. I came by to say hello, Tim and Sam, and they left. They sent me a ninety-dollar Venmo donation. Super cool, man. All right, we're just about through the other part that I was a little worried about, and then the rest of the way is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. hope a lot of people watch this video just so you guys can see me stressed like completely stressed out on the conditions I mean seriously my whole body right now is is still like almost feeling a little bit sick because of that and again I'm not being over dramatic <laughs> it really was a potentially really bad situation Especially driving up when we first started sliding right there. Oh my gosh. Like, I thank goodness we were going uphill because I, I started sliding over towards that right edge. And up that hill, I, I slid at least six or seven times. Guys, look at how dark everything is out here. This is, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what we've been waiting for in beautiful Big Bear, you guys. This is, this is amazing. I'm 
I'm gonna tell the people on the live feed what just happened to me. My wife didn't even respond. Gee, thanks, babe. She's asleep though, so I don't blame her. Hey, you guys, the video I'm making right now, one of the most white knuckle experiences I've had in a few years. I didn't think I was gonna make it down a hill. You're gonna laugh now that I'm safe. still 33 degrees. So if it's a little icier and more packed snow, I do a lot better. Just like you will too. Just, I, I don't care what type of truck and what type of tires you have, on that kind of slush, you're doomed. No matter what. shaking no sorry to disappoint you Ronald I did not that's the snowiest part of town and going up the hill it was terrifying I was all over the place and I knew I had to get back down somehow and it was rough